Hello students, welcome back to my channel Light Up Knowledge and welcome to today's video. I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, we will cover noun clauses. This is the part second of noun clauses. I have already given you an introduction to noun clauses. This will be a more advanced level to noun clauses. So, there is a separate playlist on clauses in English language on my channel, the link of which will be available in the description box below. So, without any further ado or delay, let us get started. Let us talk about functions of noun clauses. The first function that a noun clause perform is it acts as the subject of the verb. It performs the action of being a subject of the verb. If you see the first example, why he left is a mystery. So, here the noun clause why he left is acting as the subject of the verb is, right? If you see another example here, what he said was not very polite. So, what he said is a noun clause that is acting as the subject of the verb was. The next point is a noun clause acts as the object of the verb. Firstly, it was acting as a subject and now it is acting as the object of the verb. The first example is I hope that it was true. So, now here the noun clause that it was true is acting as the object of the verb hope. And similarly, if you look at the second example, we will notice that I do not know when he will return. So, this clause when he will return is acting as the object of the verb no, right. So, therefore, we have studied that it acts as an object of the verb and it can also act as an object of the verb. Next function that a noun clause perform is that it acts as the object of the preposition. So, now we have already done that it acts as the subject and object. Now, it acts as the object of the preposition. If you see that these examples pay ca careful attention to what I am saying. Okay. So, this noun clause what I am saying is acting as the object of the preposition to. Okay. It is apt acting as the object of the preposition and that is a noun clause what I am saying, right. Next example is everything now depends on what she decides. Everything now depends on what she decides. So, another clause what she decides. This is acting as the object of the preposition, okay. And which preposition that is on? It is acting as the object of the preposition on. So, therefore, a noun clause also act as the object of the preposition that is it comes after the preposition. Okay. Let us have a look at point number D. Noun clause act as a subjective complement. Noun clause act as a subjective complement. Before proceeding, we should know what a subject complement is. So, basically, if uh, I have to define complement. What is a complement? A complement is something that completes, right? So, therefore, a subject complement is something that completes our idea of a subject of a sentence by uh, giving more information about it, okay? So, generally, a subject complement is a noun. It can be a pronoun or it can be an adjective, right? So, therefore, it acts as a subjective complement. Let us see these examples here. My wish is that I may please you. What is my wish? That I may please you. So, it is acting as the complement to the subject my wish. Okay. So, what is my wish? That I may please you. So, the I may please you is acting a noun clause which is acting as a subjective complement to the subject my wish. Similarly, another example, his greatest fear was that he may fail. What was his greatest fear? That he may fail. So, it is acting as a subjective complement for the subject, his greatest fear. I hope you understood the functions. After proceeding towards all the functions that a noun clause perform, we shall learn that how we can give introduction to noun clauses, right? The first point is that we can introduce a noun clause by that. Right. So, therefore, this must be noted that most of the noun clauses are introduced by that, but not all. Okay. So, if you look at these, this example, Harshit said that he would come. So, 
that he would come it's acting as a noun clause next is they can be introduced with question words such as why what how where when who etc okay uh, with question words i don't understand why shifali is absent today so why shifali is absent today is a noun clause i wondered who turned on the light so who turned on the light it's uh, it, uh, it is introduced by a question word a noun clause is introduced by a question word and it can also be introduced by if or whether sonal wanted to know if i had any doubts if i had any doubts is a noun clause vibhu asked me whether he understood the direction so whether i understood the direction is the noun uh, clause and it can be introduced with that it can be introduced with question words and it can also be introduced with if or whether so in today's video we have covered about all the functions that a noun clause perform as well as how noun clauses are introduced uh, in uh, english language using that using question words or using if or whether so yes guys that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can get regular updates of my videos keep learning and keep growing